The grass dries up, the flowers fall to the ground, but what our God says will stand forever. Isaiah 48 about the wild, wild west during these last couple of weeks. Um, but my question is, have you heard any music from that time and any music in relation to the wild west? So I found a song and it's actually in kind of, it's gonna tie into today's lesson, but I'll play a little bit of it right now in the background so you can kind of listen to it. Um, I'm not sure if it's something that I would want to listen to on a daily basis, but the lyrics kind of reminded me of today's lesson and how does that tie into today's lesson? Well, during the song, you hear this man, and he's talking about how he's wandering through the Wild West and he doesn't know where he's going, he's kind of lost. But uh, he mentions Dan, and who's Dan? You kind of think maybe that's his friend, his brother, someone traveling with him, but it's not until the end of the song that you realize that Dan is actually his mule, his traveling companion. Um, so how does this relate to today's lesson? Well, there's a man in the Bible called Balaam. Balaam also was traveling with uh, an animal, with his donkey, Something remarkable happened along the way that actually changed the, his, his life and his, and his career and everything from going from there. So uh, stay tuned and I'll let you know more about Balaam. Okay, so who was Balaam? Balaam was a prophet in the Bible. And in the Bible, prophets were used to give God's message and God's word to, to people. Um, they were also used to give blessings out and and actually curses out to people that were not doing what they were supposed to be doing at that moment. Now, so what happened with Balaam? An evil king in the Bible it goes and hires Balaam and tells him that he wants him, he will provide money and food and everything for him, but he has to work for him and actually curse God's people. So instead of giving them blessings and, and, and giving them words of encouragement, he was supposed to be doing the opposite and this king was going to pay him for that. 
So what happens? Balaam, going on his way to his new job, let's say, um, is on his donkey on the way there when the donkey starts becoming hesitant and won't walk and won't do anything. So Balaam, being upset at his stubborn donkey, starts beating him. Now, what happens is that the donkey actually talks back and asks him, why are you beating me? It wasn't until that moment that Balaam realized something was going on and when he realized it, that there was an angel of God there as well. Now, during in that encounter, uh, Balaam realized that he was actually going the wrong direction. He was doing the wrong thing. He was not going according to God's plan. That's not what God wanted him to do. And he used Balaam to, he used Balaam's donkey to talk back to him, to kind of give him a snap back into reality. Now, thanks to that donkey, thanks to that encounter, God was able to give a message to Balaam and Balaam was able to, uh, correct his path and do the right thing. So I think in this day and age, we are very blessed with technology and a lot of other resources that can help us guide us the right way. Now, the song about Old Dan and that first con that country song that I was uh, showing you guys in the beginning, um, the man is lost and that's why he's talking to his, his mule called Dan. Um, nowadays, we actually have technology and GPSs and cell phones and, and things like that that we can get in touch with people who were ever lost. But when it comes to our spiritual life and our walk with God, we also have a lot of resources. We have the Bible and we have uh, people around us and the Holy Spirit to guide us through things. So if you are ever lost uh, in your life, you always have the Bible that you can read up and you can kind of have your own checkpoint of, am I doing the right thing? And you can always listen to the Holy Spirit. You can always listen to God's voice in, in asking and, and hearing out what you should do next. Thank God we have all these resources and there is no excuse for us to feel lost now and nowadays, both spiritually and physically. The grass dries up, the flowers fall to the ground, but what our God says will stand forever. Isaiah 48.